Hi everyone, this is another episode of Both Barrels. I am Burn. This is my father, Curtis. So, what do we have today? Well, we have today the leftovers of uh, Black Scorpion Mezcal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's actually, well, yeah, Scorpion, uh, Mezcal, and Nejo. Um Mezcal is very interesting, and this is also kind of an interesting bottle, because if you look in there, and hopefully the camera picks it up, there's a little Scorpion bro in there. So what's the deal with Mezcal? It's, it's actually kind of similar to tequila, but it also has some scotch flavors to it almost as well, doesn't it? Because uh, it is uh, put into barrels, mm -hmm. charred barrels, mm -hmm. and it's aged. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I personally cannot stand tequila. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had friends who are really connoisseurs of tequila, and there's just something about the taste that I do not like. Yeah. And uh, Jamie, who hopefully we'll have on the show one day, mm -hmm. she introduced me to a bunch of different mezcals. Mm -hmm. And I really like those because they're very, very similar to whiskey, very mm -hmm. similar to scotch. The, the, the uh, sort of flavor of the tequila mm -hmm. is buried beneath that lovely panina of the uh, patina of, of, of the smoke. Mm -hmm. And so I really like it. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And traditionally it's served in uh, not like standard glass cups that we typically use or shot glasses. It's actually served in like these little clay things, but this isn't exactly the uh, traditional kind of serving, mezcal serving thing here, is but it? Th no, it's not. But uh, this was made by a local artist, mm -hmm. Elaine Ball. I own several of her pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, she was doing uh, ceramics, and this I thought was really an interesting glass to serve alcohol in. So I thought we'd use that for the mezcal. And I'll have mine without scorpion, please. Yeah. Uh, both of us are vegetarians, so I don't think either one of us is going to be eating the scorpion, but maybe we'll uh, save it later for Jamie or Eddie. There's lots of different mezcals out there, and they're becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like this one. It is in the middle range. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's stuff that's three, four hundred dollars and up. Yeah. It, just like there is with whiskey. And unfortunately, mezcal has become popular, at least in our area, mm -hmm. and the price has gone up. It, that... it smells like tequila, like a little bit of a smokier tequila. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the flavor, it's not tequila. Mm -mm. It is really nice. Yeah. Uh, and most people would say, oh, it doesn't taste like tequila at all. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like tequila. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I don't like tequila. Yeah. I like this. Mezcal is very interesting. Um, if you're a scotch drinker or whiskey drinker and don't really like tequila that much, but want to try something that's interesting, um, something like Scorpion, Mezcal Anejo would definitely be something to try. Anejo? Añejo. Añejo, I think it's pronounced. I'm not sure. Anything else we should add? I guess not. That's our show on tequila. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll catch you next time.